I'm sad this week. I know I usually post on Tuesdays, but this week I just didn't make the deadline. It's been a sad week. Nothing's happened, nothing particular has happened, it's just how I'm feeling. Maybe I wouldn't even call it sad, just a little empty. I thought a lot about whether or not I wanted to make this video and um, I have a million ideas for videos and for content and for things that I want to do, but I find that I can only do them, I find that I can only create what I'm feeling at that time. I can't just decide to make a video or decide to do something creative that doesn't fit my mindset. Rather than just making a video about something that I wasn't passionate about at the time, I just decided to just share some of the things that make me a little less sad. Here I present a guide on how to be less sad. The first step to being less sad is carbs. Make yourself some pasta. Get the water boiling, salt that shit, and toss in some noodles. Then just cook them till they're cooked. It's not that hard. Pasta's easy. I'm stirring with tongs. Do not judge me. Didn't want to do the dishes. Here's me testing out the different lighting, realizing I should have had the light on the whole time. Strain them noodles. Say hello to the sad little noodle that always gets left behind in the bottom of the pot. Put noodles in a bowl, put some pre-made sauce in the bowl because you're too sad to make your own, toss it up, and boom, instant happiness. I always find I feel better getting into a bed that has fresh sheets on it, so I spent way too long fighting my mattress and then won in the end, as you'll see in a moment. It should not be this difficult to put on a sheet, but here I am. Adding some decorative pillows, my favorite stuffed animal, and boom, achieved. The next step, and possibly the most important step, is tea. I really like Earl Grey and similar kinds of teas because I almost like the smell of tea even more than I like the taste of tea, and Earl Grey just smells so, so good. So boil up some water, dump it into an awesome clear teapot, and steep for five to seven minutes. I chose six minutes. Use this time to go into your giant cupboard full of mugs and find your favorite mug. It may take a while if you're like me and have a slight obsession with mugs. Pour yourself a good bucket of tea and then add some sugar. I like about this much sugar or maybe just, just a bit more, just to sprinkle more. I'm sad, leave me alone. Stir it up, dissolve all that sugar before you add the milk, because if you add milk first you are crazy. Just a dash of milk, stir it up again, because apparently I don't have enough stirring in this video. And boom, a beautiful cup of tea. Next, find your favorite scented candle. Don't forget to trim the wicks, just do better than I did because I obviously never trim the wicks and have no idea how to do it. I'm just trying to be informative, okay? And yes, this is another tea scented thing. I like the smell of tea, okay? It's just something about me. Tea is the best thing, literally ever. When your room smells amazing and your tea has cooled enough, grab a cat and your favorite book and just chill out for a little while. I'm reading Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, which is not my favorite book, but it's in the top seven. And that is how to always be happy and never sad ever again. I know that none of these things are actual solutions to the sadness, they just plug it up and shove it off to the side for a, a little bit longer. Some days are just down days. I've been having a lot of down days. So I feel like I've almost become somewhat of an expert of making myself feel just a little bit better. I know that none of these things are a solution to sadness. Just a temporary plug. A few moments of peace in the noise. You owe it to yourself, I owe it to myself, to just take a break every now and then, just forget 
the world, forget the past, forget the future, just live in the moment. Some people might do that by skydiving. I like to drink tea and read a book. Anything that'll just take my mind off of all the things that worry me every day of my life. I'm fine. There's just some days that you can never... There's just some days that it just feels like you're on a constant verge of bursting into tears. The other day I was at work and one of my friends came up to me and she just asked, Are you okay? And usually I'd be able to just be like, Yeah, I'm fine. Whatever. But I just... I nearly lost it. I think it's just my brain wearing down at itself. If you're watching this, I'm fine. I'm okay. But I just want you to think about yourself for a little bit. Go make yourself a cup of tea, read a book, pet a cat. Just take a few moments and just breathe and know that everything is fine. Everything will be fine. Do whatever it takes to just be happy for even a few little moments. I promise I'm not trying to be depressing to watch. <laughs> I just needed content for this week and this is what was happening this week. So... If there's anything that you guys like to do to make yourself feel better, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. Never asked for that one before. <laughs> Stay happy, guys. Stay happy. <laughs>